that bans has been permanently banned in Colombia. Colombia received a permanent ban last night. This is a developing story. Threatens legal action. We will keep you updated on all the latest developments. This is Call of Shame News. Santana, who has recently been booted out of FaZe Clan, has been issued with a boosting warning. The Super Simps came to his defense and claimed it was a troll. Only to be totally and utterly humiliated, as Santana confirmed that the warning is genuine. Santana dived right back into ranked play and continued to boost with the Nuke Squad, who have also been booted out of FaZe Clan. Well now. He is now banned and currently being investigated by Raven Software. Aiden has also been banned in ranked play for cheating. He is now on a new account, but there is a problem. He is constantly getting shadow banned. His new account is not whitelisted and now subject to penalties. His first game on and he is quickly shadow banned, probably for using macros that gives them extra aim assist and using anti-recoil scripts. Okay, well, that was quick. That was very quick. Okay, I didn't think... Uh... You know, I didn't think it'd be one game, but, uh... So, wait, can I play anymore? Okay. Wow. That was a crazy series, bro. That was, a. Uh... This is going down in the book. Yeah, brain, uh... I think I didn't even get halfway through the first game, and I, uh... Well, Rude, the thing is... The thing is, Rude... I figured this account would be good, you know, because, like, it's an old account, you know, but... Nah, Rude. Well, the issue is, I can't use... I... Activision wouldn't whitelist somebody else's account unless it was, like, mine. You know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't whitelist... Yeah, I don't know. This proves they're all cheating on their main accounts. And further proving whitelists are real. Are you even find the bro? FIFA Kill has also been banned from ranked play on his main account. Here he is, shadow banned again, on yet another account. He is terrified to click exit, he is afraid it will show a permanent ban. He is scrambling to exit the game by task manager, he will not click the exit button, he would rather sit there and think of alternative ways to exit the game, similar to what Nadia did, when she was permanently banned. It's actually pathetic. Yet, people love to tell us these streamers are not cheating. His chat keep reminding him that he is shadow banned. It's hilarious. Chat, I'm I'm very aware that I'm not getting a game right now. You, you don't have to tell me. I know I know. Trust me. <sighs> he is asked why he is on a new account and, well, the excuses are absolutely hilarious. Why are you on a new account, bro? Um, basically, I want to play ranked, but I can't play ranked to my main because, like, every game I'll just, it's just pointless. Like, it's literally pointless. Well, I have minus 300 and there's cheaters every game, so every time I play, it just goes backwards. And I want to play with, like, Sim and stuff, and I will literally just spend three days going backwards, and it's like, what's the point in playing? Just going backwards every game. I want to feel something, Tom. I want to gain. Oh, what, you wanna play ranked? Is that what you wanna do? Not right now, I wanna play pubs right now, but I gotta get to level 55 to play ranked, you know? Perfect. But yeah, nah, like, I feel like if I'm on that account, and I'm just like 5k above max entry, then it's like, what am I even playing for? Whereas on this, it's like, I'll actually be playing to gain, so it'll be fun, you know? The fact he is hiding that he has been banned from ranked is crazy. Even his own chat full of simps are being lied to. Aiden, Biffle, FIFA Kill, and many more of them are all banned from ranked and they are lying to everyone, including the ones blind defending them. Here is Aiden, asking his chat full of simps, if he can use his old account on the latest Call of Duty title, that's been previously permanently banned. What if I got someone to, uh, what if I did unlock all, right, on Warzone 1, wouldn't, and if, say I got banned, right, wouldn't it get unbanned in Warzone 2 because they're two separate things? Definitely right. If these streamers were not protected by the whitelist, make no mistake, they would all be banned in minutes. Ricochet mitigations have been trolling streamers and exposing them live on stream for some time now. And it's always great to see, especially Splat. What the fuck? No, I don't like to know. Whoa! Back. Okay. Okay. No, no! Bro. Why does 
I should do that. What the fuck happened? What happened? What, ha what happened? If anyone has any clips of streamers splatting to the ground with ricochet, please let me know by using the Call of Shame community forums. Go to the evidence section and post the clip. It may feature in the next video. If you like the work we do, please consider giving this video a thumbs up to help spread its reach within YouTube. If you are not subscribed, we would love to have you on our team, it's completely free.